WeWeb tutorial or how to use WeWeb. Hello and welcome to our channel WebWiz. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use WeWeb. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. So the first thing that you need to do is simply open your browser and just go to WeWeb.io. And if you haven't signed up for WeWeb yet, you can check the video description below for a special discount link. But before that, if you have no idea what is WeWeb, it is a no-code front-end builder that allows users to create customer portals, multi-tenant SaaS platforms, or internal applications faster than ever without extensive coding skills, in which it also offers a visual programming interface enabling users to create unique, pixel-perfect, and responsive designs. And some of the features that they offer including visual editor, no-code workflows, integrations, collaborations, responsive interfaces, back-end freedom, and custom components. And aside from that, it's also suitable for a wide range of users from companies looking into optimize their web development processes to aspiring makers and agencies. And now, to access this platform, you can simply click this site for free in order to create your account. And upon clicking on it, you will be directed on this page. And from here, in order to create your account, all you need to do is to enter your email address or you could also sign up using your Google account. And after signing up, you will be directed in here. And all you need to do is to select your personalized info by simply answering all of their question. And after that, just click start building button. Then you will be directed on this dashboard of WeWeb. And from here, you will see on the left side panel some of the options that you can start navigating, including the workspaces. And under the workspace, it will show you the subcategory that you could also navigate, just the projects, components, self-hosting, members, and settings. In which under this project, you can simply create or duplicate your project. So this is the part where you can see all of your project. Well, by clicking the components, from here, it will show you the elements, sections, and plugins. In which from here, you can organize and manage smaller reusable blocks of web applications. And aside from that, you could also navigate self-hosting if you want to deploy your application on your own infrastructure with complete code export. While under this members option, from here it will show you your current plan that you're using. While on the other hand, under the settings, it will show you all of your personalized info. And aside from that, if you want to create a new workspace, all you need to do is to click this add a workspace button on this left side panel and upon clicking on it, it will show you a pop-up window and from here just enter your workspace name and proceed by clicking the create button below and after clicking on it it will show you that your workspace has now been added and also aside from workspaces you could also navigate learning and resources such as the referrals if you want to participate in referral program where you can earn commissions by simply referring new users to the platform and also, you can utilize on the left side panel, Learn with the Academy, Documentation, as the community, if you have questions or inquiries, and even report a bug if you want to report an issue that you're currently experiencing upon using this platform. And also, on the top panel, by simply clicking these three dots, it will show you an option, Account Settings and Sign Out, in which you could also utilize those options. And now, to start creating your new project, the first thing that you need to do is to simply select the workspace. And after that, from here, under the projects, just click this button plus create or duplicate project button. And upon clicking on it, it will show you a pop-up window in which you can start creating your own project using the templates that they offer such as Academy, Template GPT, Template GPT with Xano, and Ticket App. Or alternatively, you can start from scratch by clicking this blank and select and after that from here, all you need to do is to enter your project name, then proceed by clicking create or duplicate project button below. And after that, you will be able to go back on this page and it will show you the drop of your project. And to customize your project, just click open editor and you will be directed on this page. And from here, you can start customizing using some of the editing tools that you can find on the left side panel or on the top panel. So from here, basically, you can start by adding all of the elements and info that you prefer. 
However, if you also want to create a project using some of the templates that they offer, you could also do so by going back on this page and from here on the pop-up window, just select the templates that you prefer. So let's say I'm going to choose this basic layout. Then from here, I'm going to enter the project name, then proceed by clicking the button below. Then after that, you will be directed on this page. And to customize this project, just click open editor button. Then you will be directed in here, in which it will show you the pages that contain on these templates. By simply clicking this button on the top panel, it will show you that we have here 4 pages. We have here sign up, login. But let's say I'm going to focus on the sign up pages. So this is the only page that we're going to customize on this platform. And as you can see, you could also utilize some other option on the top panel, including libraries, plugins, author, copilot, and many more. But to start customizing all of the details, kindly double click on this text. And from here, instead of sign up, we're going to change this into create an account. And aside from that, we could also customize the context on this button. And instead of sign up, we're going to change this into create account. And aside from that, you could also customize using some of the details on the left side panel, starting from the flex box, the text, the button, and even the display of this format. So basically from here, you can start customizing the layout on the left side panel and also the display or design on the right side panel, including to adjust the alignment of the text, the spacing, the color of the text, and any other design. And from here, you can even change the field of this create an account and even change the workflows in order to trigger the specific elements. And aside from that, on the top panel, you could also utilize the libraries by simply clicking on it. It will enable you to leverage external libraries and tools such as to enhance web applications without extensive coding skills. Well, by clicking the plugins option on the top panel, it will help you to extend the functionality of web applications by connecting to third-party services or adding custom features. Then you could also navigate the author in which it will show you the roles of every users. Well, by using the copilot, it will help you to enhance your web development experience. Well, under this more option from here, it will show you additional options that you could also navigate including to add images, files, fonts, icons, custom code, redirections, paste tag, and many more. And now, if you are now done customizing your website or your project, all you need to do is to click this publish button on the top right corner in order to save the changes. However, to publish your project, make sure that you also have an upgrade account, either starter, scale, or enterprise plan, since you will not be able to publish your project if you're using a free plan. And now we can say that WeWeb offers a user-friendly approach, focus on front-end development, and seamless integration with other tools, making it suitable choice for users looking for a no-code front-end builder with low learning curve. So that is just basically how you can use WeWeb. Thank you.